I'm Dr. Katrina Lanto-Sweat, and I'm chair of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. Well, we really came to deliver um, a message that resonates with our fundamental mission, which is to emphasize the critical importance of robust religious freedom around the world, and to uh, trying to share the really valuable insight that societies which provide the sort of robust uh, protection for religious freedom that we're seeking are, on the whole, countries that tend to be more prosperous, more tolerant, more peaceful, more stable. Um, they are societies that protect the rights of minorities, of women, um, and they tend to be significantly more democratic. So this is a value and a goal to be sought after, not simply because it's a, you know, a, a sort of a desirable thing in the abstract, but countries that protect the religious rights of all their citizens are successful countries. So even in the most cold-hearted way, it's really in their interest to do so. Well, obviously it's an opportunity for people who are working on these issues to come together, share best practices, um, discuss and exchange ideas about how to advance this agenda. But one of the things that I think makes the HDIM um, event so important is that it really is a singular opportunity for those who are on the front lines of these fights. Um, the NGOs, and some of these are tiny groups, you know, very, very small groups, to come and interact with face-to-face -face government representatives, representatives of many of the critical organizations and agencies advancing these issues. And that sort of direct exchange is so important. It's all too easy for, whether it's the bureaucrats or the academics or, you know, those who are dealing with this issue at a some, somewhat at a remove, um, to lose touch with the people who are on the front lines, to have that vital exchange. And sometimes, you know, people come with very different points of view. You can have two NGOs presenting side by side at a session, um, coming at an issue from a very different perspective. But it is so valuable and it really injects, I think, a kind of fresh vibrancy into the work of those um, who are engaged in this.